What's up guys? It's Missy. I am back with another SimCity build a video. Today we're going to be doing a high level contest of mayors walkthrough. This is for City Lolly. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. I try to put videos out daily, if not weekly. Join us on Facebook at SimCity Build It, Missy NYT. In the description below, there's links to Discord, uh, our design album, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, pretty much everything. So take a look at that and let's get started. So for those of you guys who are familiar with the channel, you already know what these letters here on the right hand side of her list mean. Now, uh, for those of you who are not familiar with what that means, if you look at the description below, there is a contest of mayors guide. Okay, now there's also a mentor link. In that mentor link, there is all kinds of information on the Missy's building guide, task assessments, comm breakdowns, all that stuff. Okay, so M means main task, which is a task that can be worth 2,000 points or higher. LR is last resort rotatable. NT is no touch. C is cancel. R is rotatable. Now, a rotatable task is a task that is below 2,000 points that can be done to open up new main tasks. Okay? P stands for premium. NP stands for non-premium. Premium is a task that can be worth up to 3,000 points. Non-premium is a task that cannot be worth up to 3,000 points. Okay, so... Uh, first thing that we're going to do is set the scene. What do we need to know about the player in order to write their list? Well, we know that this player is level 32. That tells us how many factory slots she has, meaning that she does not have all the factories unlocked. So if she does get those long factory productions, she will need to do them uh, times two, which means more cooldown, which means we need to be very careful rotating those before the streaks or at all, for that matter. She's level 32, which means she's a high-level comm player. She has one regional map unlocked. Okay, so that means she has to be very cautious of her uh, regional HQ and when she opens it, because if she opens it early and it comes back in the streaks and she can't do it, she fails the streak. She is following the Missy's building guide. She has 66 tickets, which means she has to be cautious of, you know, when she uses her tickets. So let's... Go ahead and get started on the task breakdown, okay? Main task is a task that can be worth 2,000 points or higher. Now, upgrade war disaster. This is exactly why you need to earn those war points, stack up those war cards, and unlock them for the purpose of the contest of mayors only so that you can do this assignment when it comes up. That is the highest task in the list. It is... A task that opens up good opportunity, which would mean it's the first obvious choice. But before we get started, we need to look at everything else. She has a 2500 monster task. Now, if you look at the contest mayor's guide, you'll see that at 2000 points or higher, this task should be done. If it is below 2000 points, do not touch it. You mark it NT, throw it away for the rest of the contest because it will just come right back it is one of those tasks that can only be done while it's there. So to open up uh, opportunity, you would not want to do this task. But because of its value, that's why we would do it. So 2,000 points or higher, it is marked as a main task. The regional HQ rose for six. Now this one here is put at 2,250. And she has the coins. So actually her starting list is excellent. So what she needs to decide now is... Does she really want to open up the possibility of that regional HQ task coming back? So when we get to this point, what she needs to look at is when she clicks on the regional HQ, it's going to begin that 24-hour timer. When that 24-hour timer begins, that's when you can do those shipments to earn coins and complete rows. But when you click on the piggy bank, that's how long you have until that regional HQ resets itself. If it says three days and it doesn't reset itself for three days and she does that task, the regional HQ task now, being how she only has one map unlocked, if that assignment comes back, let's say worth more or in the streak, she won't be able to do it and she'll fail. So to do that task, she would not want to do that. If it comes back in, let's say, a day and a half, then 
then she would have the 24 hours where she can do that coins task and then she can leave it sit unopened after that in case that assignment comes back, right? Always pay attention to your timers and be very cautious when you open up these types of things, okay? So the glass task, that is at 2120, that is main task value. It is gonna take her two rounds, okay? So that's a lot of downtime, something she can do before bed. That being said, if she doesn't have the ability to do this before, like way before the streaks, then she's gonna have to leave it sit till after. Now we have a uh, no touch coins. Now, as a high level player, you would not need to do the coins. Okay, so think about what would have to occur for you to have to do a coins task that opens up no possibility of anything good and is of a low value and has a higher algorithm rate. Being a high level player, she can do those upgrades and things like that so that she should have marked the coins no touch. Okay. Now we have a Upgrade London, which is an airport, which can be worth up to two, uh, 3,000 points. Has a medium algorithm rate. You can see that in the Contest of Mayor's Guide. Now we have an Omega, which has an extremely high algorithm rate. Okay, so that would make that first priority rotation. Then we have a Green Valley uh, upgrade, which has a medium algorithm rate, significantly higher than the airport or uh, it's just a little lower than Omega. So now we have VU, which is a low premium option, which would need rotated. So right here we have one, two, three, four premium tasks at 1000 points that would be the first things to be rotated once all main tasks are gone, okay? Now we have a non-premium shoes, which technically as a low level player, you would mark that as a premium, but technically it is a non-premium task. Now we have an upgrade design challenge for 800. We would not do this. It's no touch because of its value, because of the fact that it would just, uh, if it came back, it would just cause problems and it could come back with a higher value taking up one of your main uh, place values. So starting off, we're gonna start off with the war disaster for 3000. That would be the correct choice. Now here, she gets an 800 residential. I don't know when the monster's gonna be there. If the monster was there, monster would have been her next play. Saying that the monster was not there, the coins or HQ would have been her next play. Now, she should have opened up the HQ, looked at it, opened up the piggy banks, and seen when the piggy banks refresh before she decides which task she wants to do. If the HQ does not reset within a day and a half, then she should not open it because you have to think about this. If it's open for 24 hours and it resets 12 hours after that, then she will be right at war, uh, the beginning of war two, which is usually when people hit the streaks, which means that if it comes up in the streaks, the HQ would have reset itself, she would be okay. But let's say it doesn't open up again for three days. Then she hits streaks. She can't uh, wait, you know, because then she risks not being able to do any more assignments. And then she gets this assignment and then she has nothing but major problems. Right? Because she can't do it, she fails to streak. So then she would decide, okay, that being said, I can go ahead and get the leaf simoleons done, leave the regional HQ to sit, and get the leaf simoleons done. Now, what she should do, if you look at her level, she only has the medium regional items unlocked until level 35. So having to prep for those items, it'll take her a significant amount of items in order to do that coins task. So I would not have opened up and done the regional export HQ unless it was at a day and a half. Now, based off of her messages in group chat, my guess is it did not reset within a day and a half, so this would be mistake number one, okay? So, she does that, and she gets an upgrade uh, disaster for 3,000. Now, she goes and does the leaf simoleons, okay? Now, here's where mistake number two is made. So, at this point, I 
I guess she did not do the leaf simulants. It said she selected it, but obviously she did not. What did she do? Hold up. She selected it here, but she didn't do it. Uh, looks like she did the monster instead. Okay. So she does the monster, she doesn't do the, the leaf simoleons, which she should have done the leaf simoleons because she had already opened up the regional HQ, right? So that was, that was one mistake. Now, again, another reason this was a mistake was because if she was going to reach down and rotate her low premiums, why did she pick the one that has the lower algorithm rate of all of them? Okay? The very first one that you always rotate, if you can, Omega. Omega is quick, it's easy, and it comes back the most. And usually we're 2,000 points or higher. After Omega, you would rotate regional. That takes priority. Okay, airport comes back less often. So, she puts already done, and then she goes for a Green Valley. Now, That confuses me because if it was already done. Oh, okay, so now she selects Green Valley. Okay, before Omega. That is mistake number two. Now here, she still has Omega and launch disaster. Now at a 600 value difference, okay, rotating a non-premium task when she has two down here that have the ability to come back worth more. These are the ones she should have rotated. Omega should have been the one to rotate. Now, she does caps and she gets a non-premium Paris for 1600. Or she, I don't know what she's doing with her screenshots. She got a, a neo Somalians. don't know what she rotated, and then she got a uh, Paris. Now, Paris is wrong, it's non-premium, now we're looking at value, opportunity, opportunity within value, okay? As a high-level player, you have to play differently than a low-level player. This is how you play as a high-level player. Main tasks, okay, 2,000 points or higher. Once the main tasks are gone, you look for your low premium options. Once you have rotated all low premium options, you then either have opened up more main tasks, hopefully, or you then start going with your high non-premium. Always start with your highest premiums, okay? Usually they're of a low value because they're obviously not at main task value. If they were main task value, you'd be marking them as a main task. But a rotatable premium is the first thing. Once you've went through your highest algorithm premiums, then you move to your non-premiums. Right now, she has two premiums sitting down here for 1,000 points, and she chooses to do something that gives her 600 more points now, but can only be worth a maximum of 2,400 points, which is 600 less than what these have the ability to be worth. And these have a better algorithm rate. So that is another mistake. Now she gets a low non-premium suits task. She then does the monster, which, okay, don't know, uh, you know, when the monster was available, if that was, you know, available all along. Now, she gets a 2200 on feed, okay? So, she then decides to rotate in the Omega. Saying she can't do the feed, obviously, she would do the Omega, that is correct. Now, pay very close attention. She rotates the Omega. Okay, dude. I want it. There. What does she get in return? 3,000 Green Valley. So what did I say about regionals being a higher algorithm rate? And what did I say about ro rotating Omega? There you have it. Okay? Now, Obviously, that's the next choice. Now, what comes in after that? Omega. High algorithm rate. 2,000 points or higher. Main task. Okay. Now, 
she gets up 14.40 on regional uh, factory production. What's the next play here? To rotate her low premiums, this would be correct. Get that VU done. Now, what comes in? Upgrade three Paris. Okay, excellent. Now, oh my God, this damn shit. She gets an upgrade three old townhome for 3,600. Great. Noticing a pattern here? Once you're rotating in those low premiums, now she rotate, rotates in glass. I'm assuming she did this because she had already had it prepped over the feed. Um, that is correct. Okay. Now she gets an upgrade three Omega. So now we've had Omega two times. Excellent. Great, right? So it came in for 2000 It came in for 3000 Aren't you glad you rotated it? 2400 Common War Disaster. Great. 2000 VU. Aren't you glad you rotated it? Should have rotated it sooner. Now, here's where she screws up again. So, let's go through the list. Non-premium Paris. Non-premium shovels. Non-premium suits. Non-premium neosimoleons. Non-premium repair. Okay. Delivery to Paris has been here already. I think twice now. It costs cash. It opens up less opportunity. Okay. So what else do we have? We have shovels and we have regional factory. We also have neo -Somalians. Okay, neo -Somalians hasn't been done yet. That could open up something good and stay away. But you could also go with the regional factory items. That one typically does not return either. So that one could open up something really good as well. But she chose to do the 1600 on Paris. That was a mistake. Okay, now, what the hell? It looks like she didn't do that, and then she decided to go with suits. Or 41, 40, okay. Um, yeah, so I don't know why you're selecting things, taking screenshots and selecting things. It's confusing me. It's like the second time you've done this to me. So she does suits, and I'll explain why this was wrong. First off, it's for the same value as shovels and as the regional factory. It takes longer to produce suits, okay? So even if you have them done, you open up the possibility of them coming back and causing you more downtime. And they have a higher algorithm rate. Now you get a upgrade three, okay? The U for 2000, cargo for 1800. Now at this value being how you haven't done it yet, yes, that is correct. Upgrade three war disaster, upgrade three, upgrade three, upgrade 3600 on uh, Old Town, upgrade Green Valley for 3000. Now we're at coins for 1900 and you go with Paris for 16. So how many times have you done Paris? Cost cash, 1600, non-premium, okay? Now, higher algorithm rate. So a non-premium with a higher algorithm rate than factory production or shovels or neo simoleons that haven't been tried yet. All three of those could have been options. All right. Now we have another cargo for 1800. Now at this point, you've already done cargo. Should have rotated in that factory production. So you've got another uh, Omega upgrade. You've got launch three VU, three K, three K, three K, three K, twenty four hundred on uh, Common War, three K on VU. Now I want you guys to pay attention. Look at the three K assignments that are here. Look at how many she's had. Why do you think those are coming in? Because she rotated them early. Had she dinked around and not rotated those as early as she did. And had she done all of the 1600s and 1500s to get a couple hundred points here, a couple hundred points there, she wouldn't have rotated these 3000 point options in as soon as she did. She would not have had as many as she had. 
a lot of you high level players don't rotate in your low premiums. You constantly go for the, your highest value task. And that's what screws you up. If you were to go back to the beginning of all of her choices and you were to not pick the premium options and go with the, all the non premiums that give you more uh, points right now, you would end up with significantly less points. And that's what a lot of you guys are doing. Okay, so pay attention to what I'm about to say. Main tasks are tasks that are 2,000 points or higher. When those main tasks are done, you look for premium options. Premium means can be worth 3,000 points. You rotate in your highest premium option with the highest algorithm rate, referring to the comm guide. Once you have rotated in your highest algorithm rate, highest premium, you then rotate in the lower algorithm rate premiums. After all of those are done, they should have opened up more main tasks. If you don't have more main tasks yet, you then refer to your highest non-premium, okay? Preferably with the lower algorithm rate because you don't want them to come back. Now she gets a 1700 on plastic. 21 tasks remaining and she started streaks. The reason that this was wrong was because one, she didn't have the regional HQ in her list yet. She had plenty of assignments that she could have still done and uh, still fit, was able to finish her streaks. So I would have rotated in the factory production down there um, or the regional factory production. Okay, so she does the streaks assignment, which she does keys, and then it says streak two, 16 tasks remaining. So I'm missing four screenshots here. Don't know what they are. Okay, she starts streak two, she gets fries, and that's where we left off. Lots of mistakes were made in this week. Now, they were all made at the very beginning. What she's doing is it sounds like she's still confused and playing low-level comp. She's going with things like a 1600 Paris when she has things like a 1000 VU or a 1000 Omega because they're 600 points higher, not realizing that all of those possibilities. You have to think, whenever you have a main task, like 2000 points or higher, you're not going to want to rotate in a low premium option, right? You want to get those low premium options in when that doorway arises, when that opportunity arises. You want to get it done. Rotate them all in. It might take a hit on your score at first. Like you're going to rotate three, four low premiums all at once, and you're like, oh, shit, I screwed up. No, you didn't. You got them in. You got them rotated. Now you're going to start seeing those 3K tasks roll in. But when you don't have the possibility for them to come in, when all of your possible 3K tasks are in your list worth a low value and you're only rotating non-premiums, what do you think is going to happen? See what I'm saying? So follow the rules of rotation and you will be fine. Okay, time to grade another person's week. Now, now this person did a perfect job and the reason that I want to kind of put it in here is to show you guys what is supposed to happen when you do a good job, okay? So task assessment, we're gonna make this quick. We've got a main task here, okay? It's at 2,000 points or higher. Three main tasks, we've got a leaf, uh, 1,600 cream, 1,200 on feed, which we probably won't do, 1,200 epic coins, or sorry, keys. Now that old town home needs to be rotated as soon as possible. And then we've got the non-premium repair, and the premium Tokyo and Green Valley, which will also need rotating as soon as possible. Starting off with the first choice of the war deliveries. It's limited, it's the highest in the list, it's a main task, get it done. Okay, now, monster is there, excellent, got it done. Came in with a 1000 VU, not a good sign. So obviously not gonna rotate that anytime soon. Now, uh, Paris for 2400 came in. Even though it's non-premium, it's at a main task value. Done. Okay. Now, she gets a coins task for 1500 So what is the first thing that she does? Well, 
obviously one, the design challenge just closed, has to be. If the design challenge was not closed, then design challenge would be her next play because of its value. Um, and the fact that she's got 56 tasks remaining, she has a high chance of being able to have it come back in the main list and not in the streaks and causing her to fail. If it is below that value, don't touch it. It's not worth the risk. Now, Old Town Home is her highest premium with her with a decent algorithm rate. This one can be worth up to 3,600 points. So that would be the next thing to rotate in. Now, the Leaf Simoleons actually uh, would have been right, but she doesn't have the regional HQ there yet. Okay, and it's not exactly easy for her to earn those points. Given that the Leaf Simoleons are below 2,000 points, we may not want to open up that can of worms just yet. Because if it comes back worth more, it's going to cause more problems. So the right play here was the Old Town building. Now she gets a 1600 Paris. Now, 1600 Paris, like we discussed with the last person's stuff, that would not be correct. So she went ahead and she looked at her premium options, her rotatable premium options, which were the VU that had just come in for a thousand, the uh, delivery to Tokyo, okay, which has a lower algorithm rating and cost cash. Then we have the Green Valley, which has a little bit higher algorithm rate. That would be the correct choice, which she does. Now she gets a 3600 old town home. What did she just rotate? The 1200 old town. See how easy that is? Okay. Now she has got that done. She gets a 690 on Neo Simoleons. That's a non premium task. We're just going to leave it sit. What else does she have to rotate? Well, she's got that delivery to Tokyo, which she does. Okay. Excellent. This is what she's got prepped. Okay, perfect. She gets a 2400 on ice cream. This is now a main task, so it becomes priority. Then she gets, what is that? Yeah, that's the green valley she just rotated for main task value. There you have it, okay? Now she gets a 1530 on seeds. Now, this is a non-premium assignment and she has electrical prepped. Why would she clear out all that electrical with all that downtime for some seeds? She wouldn't. So now she needs to decide if she wants to try to rotate in that VU, which is what I would have done, or those leaf simoleons, depending on what she's got going on. She could rotate in the cream, uh, given the fact that the VU did just come in, but I would have went with either the VU or the coins. Okay, so she does the VU. Excellent. Now she gets a 1680 on flower. Now, Cream, flour, flour goes faster. I think she had flour prepped. Okay, uh, flour, cream, whatever, either one. They're pretty much right there in equal value, equal opportunity. Okay. Now, she does cream. She probably had that prepped. Now she gets a me, uh, not a medium, a main task for 2400 regular residential. 2000 Tokyo building, upgrade Green Valley, upgrade Omega. Now she gets a 2000 glass. Now, why would we open up all that downtime? We wouldn't, okay? So what's her next play? Next highest, best option. Now, opening up those coins could be problematic. Now she gets the HQ that she's been looking for, okay? So now she has to decide what option she has available to her. She would have to click on the HQ and decide, do I have enough time for it to reset and finish the streaks on time? Or do I need to leave this sit and do the coins? So depending on what the, uh, you know, result of that was would depend on her choice, which obviously she went with the coins. Okay. Now she's got Omega for 3,000, VU for 2,000, Green Valley for 2,000. Noticing a pattern here, Green Valley, launch common war attack, upgrade old town building. This is like the third time, so that's excellent that she rotated that. Now she's got that Leaf Simoleons, 
This is another reason why you need to move quickly so that you can take advantage of timers and, and things. Okay, Green Valley again, delivery to Tokyo. Remember when she rotated that for a thousand? Okay, uh, upgrade Tokyo. Upgrade Omega for 3,000 again. BU for 3,000, remember, she rotated that. Okay, 2,100 on paint makes it a main task. 1,800. Now, highest besides that stupid HQ, which she probably can't afford to risk that. Now we have Earn Leaf again for 2,150. We got Omega again for 2,000, both main value. Now we have Planks for 1,800. 2,400 on Launch War Tech. Now, obviously, it's a good thing that she's moving quickly, right? So she can get these things done. VU again for 3,000. She's three, three tasks away from being able to start streaks, so she does the 1,600 common war attack. This play, place value has been good to her. Okay, 2,900 on Leaf Simoleons. Uh, another launch VU disaster for 2,000. Delivery to London for 3,000. Upgrade Green Valley for 2,000. Leaf Simoleons for 2,000. Now... Rather than risk it and have either one of these come back in the streaks, now she be in streaks. Excellent choice. Doesn't risk rotating in the long last task. Doesn't clear out the uh, electrical yet. Doesn't risk opening up the possibility of getting the leaf simoleons again. Doesn't risk opening up the regional HQ before the streaks. All excellent choices. That could have really screwed her up. Now she gets a corn task. Okay, so now we're just going through the streak. She's got a 3,000 VU, 3,000 Green Valley. Okay, so both of these were at her list for 1,000 points. She's rotated them countless times for main value points. See why she took those less points way back then to get all these points later? Now we have an 1,800 on drills. I don't know if you remember, but she had prepped those. Okay, 8,000 streaks bonus. 1600 on textiles so now she's going to clear out that electrical and get those texts prepped okay so now she's at 108,000. this is her leaderboard she gets that done she gets a 3000 omega how many times have we seen omega see why it was so important to rotate it okay same with the vu there's the cream 2400 1500 on plastic that's an easy one Omega again for 3,000. 1,500 on uh, regional factory production. Latin upgrade for 3,600. 8,000 bonus, 2,400 regular residential. 3,000 BU, 1,500 on wood. 3,000 Green Valley, 8,000 bonus, 3,000 delivery to Tokyo. Are you noticing a pattern? All of her low premiums from the beginning of the list are here of high value, countless times. Metal, 3,000 VU, 1,800 cargo, bonus points. Okay, 2,000 VU, 3,000 Omega again. How many times have we done this? Sugar. Now she's on her downtime for sugar. So when people see that you have 183,000 points, and you have two and a, two days left of the contest, actually almost three days left of the contest, and they accuse you of being a hacker. No, they're not hacking. They're just playing right. That's what happens when you actually rotate the right things and play like you got some sense about you. I'm here to help you guys learn how to play the contest of mayors the right way. You will start to notice these patterns if you screenshot your list, if you really pay attention and follow what you're supposed to follow, it's really actually quite simple to understand. Main tasks get done. Then low premium, your highest premium, okay, with the highest algorithm rate. Typically that's gonna be a low task because if it wasn't a low task, it wouldn't be considered low, it would be considered a main task, right? It's proof right here that if you go and look at the beginning, of the low premium options that she rotated and you go back through and you count how many times she got VU, Green Valley, 
Omega. Delivery to Tokyo. She got them countless times for two and three thousand points. They didn't come back for one thousand points, not once. That's how you do it. Now, if you were to go back at the beginning of her week and not do that and rotate the low non-premiums because they were giving you 400, 600 more points at the time, those would not have had the possibility to come back. And that right there is why you do not take 600 extra points on a delivery to Paris versus a 1,000 on a premium that you haven't even tried to rotate yet, okay? Hopefully this sinks in. It helps you guys. But I've noticed there's been a lot of stuff on Facebook and, and things like that talking about, oh, they must be hacked or blah, blah. No, dude, you honestly, you have to be pretty ignorant to, to not see that there's a system to this. It's not just pick whatever you want, whenever you want, however you want, and it's all luck, okay? Everybody in my group wins every damn week. Everybody in my group scores right around the same value every single week. That is not an accident, all right? Now, if you play and you follow these rules, you will win as well. Unless you're, of course, going against somebody in my group, and then good luck to you. All right, you guys. Good luck.